back to my channel. Today is an interesting day. I filmed my 39 week pregnancy update. I am 39 weeks today. And I saw the doctor this morning. If you watched my last update, I um, had a non-stress test. Baby wasn't moving a lot. Then baby passed the test and everything was looking good. But I got home right now and there was blood in my underwear. And I'm starting to wonder if that was like the bloody show or something I need to be concerned about. So I called the doctor and I'm waiting for them to call me back and give me an update. <laughs> See? <laughs> Woo! See if this is something I need to be concerned about or if it just means the baby might be on its way. So, oh. Yeah, I going to show you some tricks. Yeah. So I need to pack a bag for him just in case we have to take him somewhere. Show some tricks. Okay, show us some tricks. And yeah, so this is what is going on. Oh, the doctor's calling me. I'll update you in a minute. You love baby. Oh, those are sweet kisses. Okay, so I actually spoke to the same nurse who did my non-stress test and she said that it could be because the doctor was poking around up there, checking my cervix and all of that. And then I was laying on my side for so long doing the non-stress test and that's why like it took so long for it to come out. She said that it's pretty common to have some bleeding after they check your cervix and if you hear playing it's Martin and all that so unless I start feeling stronger contractions or like labor or my water breaks I don't need to worry yet but I am gonna pack Martin's bag and I'm gonna have my husband pack his bag because we are gonna be having a baby soon regardless of when it's gonna be soon and I will keep you guys updated through the whole process We've got our friends on standby for this guy. <laughs> and I don't know. Okay, so Martin's taking his nap now. So now I can like talk a little more relaxed. But I don't think that that was the bloody show. Because I googled some pictures and it didn't look the same. And there was no mucus plug in it. So I think the nurse is right. I think it's just from the doctor checking my cervix. And then the fact that like I was laying down sideways for a while, it took a while for it to come out. Pregnancy is so beautiful. Um, I still feel good. I don't feel any contractions. I only feel a couple of Braxton Hicks every now and then, but I'm definitely being more aware and more aware of baby's movement. Like the doctor said, just like doing kick counts and all of that, which is, so new to me because I did not do kick counts with Martin. So I figured since I already picked up the camera and shared all that, I guess I'll turn this into like a vlog. Um, I'm eating lunch right now. <laughs> I made some nachos, super healthy, I know. But Matthew's home all day, he's working. You might hear him in the back. So after um, I eat these nachos, I'm just gonna lay on the couch and relax and watch a show. Yeah, so if anything changes or I start feeling anything, I will definitely keep you guys updated. But that was kind of a little bit nerve wracking when I went to the bathroom and I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh, like, is everything okay? Is labor starting? What is going on? I didn't experience this with Martin at all, so. That was new to me. Every pregnancy is different, every labor is different, and that just goes to show, like, you never know. So, I feel baby moving right now, so that's really good. And baby's probably starving, because I am so hungry. So I'm gonna eat these nachos, and we'll turn this into a potential labor daily vlog thing. Today, Martin had trouble sleeping and he probably slept for like 45 minutes total in like 20 minute increments. So I did not really get to rest much at all during his nap. Luckily, Matthew's working from home. He's got a few things to do 
and then he's gonna watch Martin or hang out with him while I go lay down and rest. But I'm pretty sure I'm not in labor. I'm not having any contractions or anything like that. And I've stopped bleeding. It was just like one quick little like gush and then nothing else has happened. So I'm thinking this is a false alarm, but yeah. Um, I'm actually gonna get started on making some chili that we're probably gonna have for dinner. And hey, Martin is running wild around the house. I'm not It's in your room. Um, somebody's probably gonna be a bit moody, so we'll probably do an early bedtime today. Um, you know, three-year-old toddler life. Are you ready to be a big brother? Not yet. I'm just growing up so fast. <laughs> You're not ready. You're just growing up so fast. Yeah, I mean I'm not. Uh, look, I look at that. Oh wow! Great job. It's our queen. Martin. Do you, do you see any more play -Doh? Uh, no, I don't. Martin, are you excited to be a big brother? Yeah, and um, this. Do you think baby's gonna be a boy or a girl? Okay, um, uh, Here, let me open it for you. It's stuck. Is baby gonna be a boy or a girl, though? A, a boy. Baby's gonna be a boy? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. So I've just been hanging out with this kid playing. We've been playing Venom and Spider-Man and Potato Heads and everything. It's like a little after five-ish. And of course, Matthew's work day got busy and he hasn't been able to relieve me so that I could rest. So I'm pretty tired. It was just like an emotional day, a long day, having the doctor's appointment take so long having that non-stress test and then coming home to a little bit of a oh my gosh are we in labor panic mode <sighs> i could really use just to lay down in bed and have some quiet time but, but ah! <laughs> sorry about that that's just me running a box on my head you said that's just you with a box on your head silly yeah that's just me um, but the chili is not gonna be ready in time for dinner, which is fine because I mostly just wanted it so we can have it throughout the week. So I need to get Martin some food going. I think I'm just gonna give him some leftovers and make some Annie's mac and cheese. And then for dinner, we're just gonna have leftovers. We have enchiladas and um, a bunch of other stuff we could eat, so that's fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I am so tired. I don't even know if I have like enough footage for this to be a real vlog, but either way, it is what it is. Baby's moving a lot right now. I see you over there. Where are you going? Sneaky boy. It's fine. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna end this here. I will see you guys in the next one. Maybe the next one will be my actual labor vlog. Not sure. But this baby's getting ready to come out. My sister-in-law is packing her bag and she is on standby in case she needs to get on an earlier flight. And we've got our friends on standby. This baby's coming soon. But if you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.